All right, someone asked me to make a video on a guide for ice tanking, so here it is. Uh, for your skill points, you only need the one that is in your weapon. You're not going to be like using your weapon for anything other than PvP block breaks. I use dual wield. You don't have to use dual wield. You can use whatever you want, but dual wield is what I use. So just whatever your weapon is, that's all you need. Then you just need the one for your movement. Um, you can get these extra ones if you have them. You know, they're just extra. Um, Iconics, you're gonna need hard light shield, and that's all you're gonna need. Hard light shield is the strongest shield that any tank can use um, that isn't Earth's gemstone shield. For these, you don't. It doesn't really matter. You can just go with these to do a little more damage, I guess. Um, and then this might. Uh, you might not understand this because this changes depending on what power you are, but if you're an ice tank You know you have your pull your grouping three shields and then all that business and As you can see here on dominance, it tells you that your shields health is mainly based on your dominance Because of that you're going to want to spec all dominance your health You know you'll get a good chunk of health from whatever you actually end up putting into the skill points anyway, so just go full dom and then just dump the rest in health. And what do my stats look like? Yeah, see? I went up a ton of health and I didn't have to full health spec, but I have all my dominance. Um, this was recorded last DLC, by the way. My stats are now much higher than this, but for your arts, uh, manacles, Lazarus, and the last one doesn't really matter. You can use mystic, you can use whatever you want um, mine aren't even at 200 so anything you see me do let it be known I have lower skill points and my arts aren't even 200 so you don't need all that stuff to win uh, this is going to be a run for ROE just a, a quick one just so you can understand like what I'm doing and what to do when you're in content so the first thing I'm going to show you is how to group I'm going to slow it down so you can see. You run in, and you resonate in Gale. You want to clip that with a shield, by the way. Ice doesn't have a very good pull, so you need to get things to you as fast as you can, and then make sure you regroup them with resonating Gale. Once they're grouped up, you can just alternate between resonating Gale, as you see. When you hit something with resonating Gale, they all magnetize to whoever you were targeting. And then you can just cycle them between Resonating Gale and um, Chronometric Emitters. So you just you just juggle them like this, and you'll pretty much never be hit. There is you can see I'm being hit right now. That's because there is a limit on how much you can CC at once, and if if you're over that limit, then you'll have most of the group CC'd. But some stragglers could still hit you. That's why if you're in hard content, you need to pay attention to what's happening. Because just because you're juggling 15 ads doesn't mean there aren't a couple on the outside that could just clap you. So you have to be paying attention. Um, for this, I mean, ROE is pretty self-explanatory. It's really easy. That's why I used this as an example for the tanking. Um, so Shatter Restraints is your group breakout. You using that is entirely dependent on the content that you're running. You don't have to run it all the time. Like for that whole first group of ads, I just wasn't running it because obviously nobody needs to break out of anything, so it's fine. Occasionally, you need it here. Now as you see right there, the way I started this fight was I used my pull and I clipped it into a shield. That's how you always want to start. If you don't start by clipping your pull into your shield and you just pull, when you do that, you're aggro grabbing the boss but you haven't given yourself any safety. You haven't activated your ice armor which is 35% extra defense and you get that from using your shields. You don't have a shield to block your damage. You don't have anything. So you you kind of have to have that. If you don't, you will just end up killing yourself. 
So just make sure you play things safe and you always clip your pull with a shield. If you're running through hallways or something and, you know, it's just groups of ads, just use Resonating Gale at a distance and then just jump in and chrono and then you, you know what to do from there. But, again, bosses will clap you. So, as far as grouping with ice goes, when things aren't already grouped up, it's kind of rough, because Ice has probably the worst tank pull in the game. Uh, why? I don't know. But when I do it here, I'll slow it down so you can see kind of how to counteract that. It's kind of hard. Oh, also this. Yeah, if there is a one-shot mechanic, just because you're a tank with a bunch of shields doesn't mean anything. This mechanic will still one-shot you through your shields. You have to respect one-shot mechanics, or you'll get one-shotted. Alright, so here's how you do this. The things that are the furthest away from you, you have to grab them first. You have to. Because anything that's near you, you can just resonate in Gale and they'll come to you. The ones that are at a distance though, you have to grab them. So, essentially, grab everything that is at a, a large distance from you. Immediately turn your attention back to what's near you. And resonate and gale it and then you you alternate between that that's how you get everything to you and you keep them juggled and you keep yourself safe all at the same time it's it's a little tricky to get used to at first but once you get used to it that's that's pretty much the hardest aspect of ice tanking to be honest um, other than all of that there isn't really a whole lot that needs to be said um, there is a part in ROE on Black Alice where she has an audio cue where you need shadow restraints. So Felix Faust has one that happens occasionally, it does not happen all the time, where he says nothing ever works and when he does that he pulls everybody in and it does a fat chunk of damage and interrupts all the DPS's so if you use your breakout nobody gets pulled, no one gets interrupted, everything's cool. On Black Alice, when she says nobody likes being caged, she will cage everyone, and it does damage, it interrupts people, it's it's a whole thing, it's really fucking annoying. So if you just use your breakout when she says that, nobody gets caged, nobody gets interrupted, you essentially just like delete the mechanic from happening. That's when you use your breakout. You don't have to use your breakout for anything else. Just whenever you go into content, make sure you're aware of if you need your breakout or not, and where you need it. Because otherwise, you can run Hibernation. Hibernation is a supercharge, and it is very, very overpowered. Essentially, once you use it, for about three or four seconds, you are just completely invincible. Um, again, one-shot mechanics, you have to respect them. They will one-shot you through shields, including Hibernation. But there is nothing in the game that just raw, like, hits hard enough to go through hibernation. There's nothing. Even the brand new raid, there's nothing that'll just go through hibernation. So, if there's a mechanic where, like, in, in UB, for example, uh, when you're tanking the first two bosses, when the fat boy does his roll, it does, like, two 700Ks. It'll, it'll just one-shot any tank through any shields or anything else. It'll just blast you. If you use hibernation, it doesn't do that. You just live through it, and then you're fine. So, depending on the content you're running, you alternate between hibernation and shadow restraints. But the rest of the rotation stays as it is. Um, last, I guess, tip before I just let the rest of the video play. The way you should have your loadout set up is the way I have it set up. Reflection is your weakest shield. Winter Ward is your second strongest shield, and then Hard Light Shield is your strongest shield. The reason you want Winter Ward as your first shield is because when you aggro something or you pull something to you and you're clipping into a shield, you want to be clipping into a very strong shield that way in case anything just slaps you as soon as you start, you're definitely safe. If you use Reflection very many times, it has, you know, it'll, it'll just break and you'll be in danger. So, use Winter Ward in the first spot. 
then in the second spot you're going to use reflection the reason is because reflection is your weakest shield and if you sandwich it between your two strong shields then effectively the role that it starts to play is when your big shield goes away you can use reflection as sort of a reprieve that way you have a few seconds or a couple hits of you know just invulnerability before you have to throw a hard light shield and what that does is it gives you a couple extra seconds to just you know wane the cooldown off of winter ward it essentially is in this way so that you always have a shield off cooldown when you need it um you should always be able to cycle your shields if you can't then you're throwing them too fast so that's that's pretty much it it, it's pretty brain dead to ice tank it's really not that hard uh but yeah that's it so i'll just let the rest of the video play uh like comment sub i'll see you later peace